hello everyone now uh, welcome to my channel and in this video we will learn how to delete a microsoft 365 group and what all are the things which gets deleted along with microsoft 365 group and how to restore it so uh, first of all let's go to our microsoft 365 admin center and we'll firstly look into the places from where you can delete a microsoft 365 group okay so first of all uh, in microsoft 365 admin center in under teams and group active teams and group and uh, microsoft 365 group so here you will see a list of groups all you have so right now i only have one group here okay so i'll select this group i'll click on this three dots and i will click on this delete team so this group will be deleted from uh, this microsoft 365 admin center okay and uh, if i want to delete this group from exchange admin center so this is how you delete it let's go to exchange admin center let's go to group and we'll select this microsoft 365 group again i right now i only have one 365 group here I'll just select this group. I'll click on delete group and the group will be deleted. Okay. Now there is one more place which is Azure. You can delete this group from Azure as well. I will go to group. Okay. I'll select groups and uh, I will click on all groups. Okay. Uh, it's loading right now okay now it's loaded this is the group which i want to delete i'll select this group okay and i will click on this delete option so the group will be deleted once i click on this okay this is the third place from where we can delete the group and i could delete the group from outlook as well i'm into my outlook in the web I'll go to this group section on the left. I'll click on groups. Okay, this is test DL EDM is the Office 365 group I have. All right, I click on this edit group option or I can simply click on edit group here. So I click on edit group and I would be able to delete this group. There will be an option at the bottom which says delete group. I click on this and the group will be deleted so this is the fourth place from where you can delete the group and uh, remember guys from outlook and uh, from every places only the group owner would be able to delete the group uh, users won't be able to delete the group only the admins or the owners okay and also uh, when you delete an office 365 or do you, when you create an office 365 group there is a sharepoint site and ms teams also get created so if i go to view site okay i'll let's just open this okay and just wait a couple of seconds so i would see an option here microsoft teams and sharepoint so if i click on this microsoft team okay it will open this this test dladm this is my teams okay i could see this test dladm and if i click on this three dots i could see delete teams i can delete the teams from here and if i delete the team it will also delete the sharepoint site this sharepoint site this test dladm site okay it will also be deleted when i delete this test dladm and if you want to delete the sharepoint site what you need to do is just click on this gear icon all right and site information and uh, under site information we have this delete site option i can just simply click on delete and if the sharepoint site is deleted so it will also affect the microsoft team teams will be deleted all right and the corresponding office 365 group will also be deleted so you see that there are multiple places from where you can delete this office 365 group 
you see open in teams and open uh, in sharepoint i have these two options so these are interlinked when you delete an office 365 group teams and microsoft sharepoint site all these things will be deleted and there are a couple of things which also get deleted let me quickly open this so when you delete an office 365 group it actually deletes the active directory group as well so this is the active directory group it will be deleted and the exchange online shared mailbox so if the group is deleted its mailbox will also be deleted so this is the personal mailbox okay and this is my group mailbox it will also be deleted and the third thing is sharepoint online site which is this one this will be deleted and the fourth one is microsoft Teams site so this will also be deleted so you see that there are multiple things which get deleted when you delete a single microsoft 365 group and the point to be noted when you delete an office 365 group it takes some time for the sharepoint chat and teams to be deleted it takes around 30 days so when you delete an office 365 group after 30 days the sharepoint site and this teams site will be deleted and they will be gone forever it cannot be recovered so you only have 30 days to recover your sharepoint site uh, your teams and your office 365 group and there are only a few places from where you can recover it so first one is this deleted group so you can recover the deleted group from microsoft 365 admin center this is one place select the group and restore it the second place is your active directory your active directory portal you can just go to microsoft uh, sorry you can go to uh, deleted groups you just select your microsoft 365 group once you select it okay and then click on restore a group the group will be restored the third place is if you are a sharepoint administrator so what you can do is you just go to your sharepoint admin center let me open up for you okay you can go to deleted site so like i said that the sharepoint site will also be deleted so you can go to your sharepoint admin center deleted site just find the site uh, corresponding to your group and just restore it so it will restore the team site and it will also restore the group as well okay so these are the places from where you can restore it now let's see this in action so let's go to active team and group and let's delete this group right let's click on delete and you say that when you delete this team all data associated with it will be deleted including team email conversation team notebook document stored and team calendar okay and like i said that you only have 30 days to restore if it goes beyond 30 days then it cannot be recovered the group will not be recovered and everything with it will be gone planner microsoft team sharepoint team site okay uh, the mailbox and active directory group as well okay and let's go ahead and delete it all right so we have successfully deleted this test dl adm group and uh, straight away it will not delete the sharepoint site and teams it will take some time but in outlook uh, you will uh, be able to see that the group will be now shifted to deleted groups okay let's see that quickly right so the group is not available here but if you come up here you 
click on more and scroll down you could see the test deal ADM is showing up here okay and it says that uh, it was related on 12 31st and you have 1 30 2025 to restore all the group conversation files notebooks and calendar events so now you can restore the group from here or else you can go to microsoft 365 admin center go to deleted groups and you can restore the group from here test dl edm you can restore the group from here so these are the two places from where you can restore the group so the SharePoint site and team cell is not uh, deleted yet they are still intact but will be deleted in uh, 30 days within 30 days these two will also be gone and there is another place this is the place from where you can restore the group i'll just refresh it okay now you can see that test tl edm is showing up here and if i select this i will restore the group okay and uh, let's restore it from uh, azure portal because these are all interlinked so if any one of the item is deleted like sharepoint site is deleted then it corresponding 365 group will be deleted teams will be deleted and everything associated it will be deleted i'll just simply select here and restore it so the moment i restore it you will be able to see that the group will reflect in active groups again i'll click on all groups right you can see the test dl edm is not is now showing up in uh, active groups here and if i come up here okay i'll just uh in microsoft 365 admin center i'll click on uh, active teams okay so you can see the test dl edm is showing up here again all right and uh, it will also be reflected again in uh, the exchange admin center all right so this is how you delete our office 365 group and this is how you restore an office 365 group and how they're interrelated and how a microsoft 365 group uh, will affect if it is deleted it will affect all it for today's video and i hope you like it if you have any doubts leave your doubts in the comment till the, and uh, see you in the next video till then happy learning goodbye